Ladies and gentlemen, these gentlemen are the Samoans, the great Tia and Chief Tapu. How many times we have to prove to all these people out here we are the greatest tag team ever walking the ring and travel the world wide? Now let me tell you something about all these American wrestlers. If you can't like, if you don't like the idea, you better pack your bag and leave because the great Tio and Chief Tapu is coming here for a rumble, brother. For a rumble. You know what I mean? You understand the Samoan and said, fight, fight, let move. Let me say something in, in the Filipino people. All the Filipinos said, Banong, Mapuhai, and the Hawaiians said, Okole Baruna. The Samoan said, fight, fight, let move. That's all I had to say because I hate people talk too much. I don't want to talk too much. First of all, well, I like to just keep that boo and I eat some Samoan food. And believe you me, it's going to be a bit. We got better peace, fiesta, and a luau in the near future. I think we've just been told off. <laughs> Whew. Back to you, Don. I, I hope all that was arable because it, uh, that's we're, where it was. We're going right back out to the ring with the next bounce. You bet. Whew. And what about we've got coming up next, too? That, uh, that T is a big fella. Yes, he is. Did you understand anything he was saying there? I think I'd better while I'm standing <laughs> next to that guy. I don't want to have to ask him to repeat anything. Coming up next, Rip Oliver going against Chris Adams. Now watch very closely. This should really be a dandy. Boy, we're extremely fortunate to get the Olive, uh, Oliver and Adams bout on TV, I want to tell you. I don't know how uh, Chris wrangled this, but uh, Oliver was against this bout from the start. Uh, Chris has got him in there. Ring announcer down on. Falls uh, to a TV time limit. Introducing in this corner, 244 pounds from Florida, Rip Oliver. His opponent in this corner, 235 pounds from London, England, the sensational Englishman, Chris Adams. Before this bout starts, I was trying to explain to you, I don't understand how Chris got this bout because Oliver was dead sent against him. He must have offered him a lot of money to wrestling here on television. Extremely fortunate to get this bout. We'll be explaining to you a little bit later before the fireworks start here just what an Iranian death match is. And uh, you're going to be quite surprised. It's not your ordinary type match. This Iranian is a very devious fe fellow, this Sheikh Abdullah Hussein. And he's got Hacksaw Sawyer into a corner. And I don't think Hack actually knows just what kind of a match this is. He might hear the rules, but I don't think Hack's ever seen one. Well, like you said before, he's uh, well. He's been wrestling three years. He's uh, there's a lot that he hasn't seen. You're right. I've seen him before, and I never. Oh no! A big knee by Oliver before the match started. Kind of pulled it. Chris Adams right out of the ring. I hope he's not hurt. Did the bell ring? Yeah. Evidently, it did ring. Sandy Bar is counting. Well, I think Chris Adams' bell rung, but uh, I think the bell rang at about the same time Adams hit the concrete. Yeah, Adams turned his back on him. Out of the ring he went. He's hurting. Well, Adams didn't even have his jacket off. He's right. taking his jacket off now down there. All right, the rules, National Wrestling Association rules, you've got a 20 count on the floor to get back in the ring. Well, on all a of television it. match. Oh, oh, look at that. He goes out again. I think Boy, Chris hurt his ankle on yeah, that one. Yeah, he twisted his ankle when he hit there. If you're knocked out under the apron, you've got a 10 count, Don. If you've got a man in a dangerous hold, you've got four counts to break. One, two, three, four. If the referee reaches five, it's an automatic disqualification. You can throw your opponent over the top rope. The National Wrestling Association There's nothing against the rules in that category. There's a body slam by Rip Pollard. Oh. Big body slam. Oh, here we go. Oh, stomping right on the chest. That's a heck of a stomp by Oliver, right to the chest area, Chris Adams. Now he's giving back. him a foot in the back. Into the... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Got the, got the bear hug. What type of bear hug is that, Don? Uh, that's a, it's an above the uh, head on the shoulder bear hug. That's a standing bear hug. That too. That's right. <laughs> 
you can get your opponent off of his feet. You can get more leverage on that bear hug. What you're doing, you can get down along the, uh, the waist area like that. You're going into the stomach cavity with your shoulder, and you're cutting off his wind. Well, that's exactly what's Look happening. Look at this. Oh! Oh! Slams him into that turnbuckle. Just slammed him into that turnbuckle. This Oliver, unpredictable as a as a. Oh, cougar. there he goes outside. Oh. Well, I think he may have twisted his ankle again. That's yeah. nine and a half feet from the ring ropes to the floor, folks. And the floor is made of concrete. You know what concrete is, oh, don't you? Oh, that's the stuff that comes up to meet you awfully fast and hard. That's when you nine to fivers slip on a hunk of concrete outside a building and break your back. <laughs> and then you sue, you know, the building. We can't sue the building because this concrete is in love with us. It comes up to meet us. That's right. <laughs> These guys do this for a living. Oh, oh look at that. You can See? hear that all the way up here. And that's a living, friends. You're going to call that living. Look at those forearms. I think he's got to, you can see where the rope has caught him on the back. Yeah. You can also see where Oliver just laid the lumber across his chest, too. He's all red. Yeah. Uh-oh, Oliver's coming outside now. Oh, kicking him in the back. On his card on the eighth, you're going to be seeing the Sheik in the main event in an Iranian death match against Hacksaw Sawyer. You're going to see Rip Oliver against none other than Billy Jack. Chris Adams is going to be taking on the Assassin. And there's going to be a tag match on that card with Tia and Tapu against two opponents. Oh. Big knee lift by Chris Adams. Beautiful move by Adams. He lifted Oliver about five inches off the mat. Oliver's got his bell rung. You better believe he did. I think Adams' back may be bleeding back there a little bit. It's, all, it's awfully red. There he goes again. I don't see any blood, but it is skinned up. Yeah. Well, okay. he's applying a, a, now this is a different variation of the bear hug. He doesn't have him up in the air. You can't quite get as much pressure. It'll, it'll put pressure on that rib cage, but you can't quite as, get as much pressure as when you got a man off his feet. Chris gonna, trying to lower an elbow on his head. It's hard to do when you can't breathe. That's right. It's hard to do a whole lot of things there when you can't breathe. Chris is trying to get up, get his knees there to relieve some of the pressure. He's going to try to drop an elbow on him. Look at yeah, he did. Oh, right at the head. Oliver hung on to that thing. That's a heck of a blow. Here comes another one. There's another one. And that, Oliver's still hanging on. Tough cookie. Here comes another elbow. That got him off. Oh, that'll give you a headache. First fall action TV main event. Rip Oliver against Chris Adams. So, no. In case you're interested, Rip Oliver is the blonde. Chris that, Adams is the Englishman. And that's one blonde that's not having more fun right now. Look at that. Here comes another. Uh -oh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, my goodness. Boy, we're going to have to. Oh, my goodness. That was a deliberate back body oh, drop. He, uh, Adams is really hurt out there. That time, I think he landed on his wrist. He's holding his wrist. Now you know why they call Oliver Ripper the Crippler. He's crippled up Kurt Henning. He's crippled up his dad, Larry the Axe Henning. He sent uh, a couple other people out here. He even, he even did some damage to all people, Andre the Giant. That's why they call him Ripper the Crippler. If he can't get you one way, he'll get you the other. Look at this. Look at this. Uh-oh. Uh one, two, three. Holy mackerel. In no oh. uncertain fashion, Rip Oliver has taken a first fall of this TV main event. Okay. Oliver over Adams in the first fall. Now we've got two more to go, so don't go away. And we will be right back after yeah, this time. Out. Right. I'm going to be talking to uh, the Army, I think. Battle. On the eighth, Sheikh Abdullah Hussein and his specialty match, the Iranian death match. Would you like to explain the rules of that match? Yeah, I'll explain the rules to that match. There are no rules. Throw the rule book out the window. I'll tell you what's involved in this match. 
This match is involved with two pieces, six feet long rope. And I have Rip the Crippler, the leader of the clan, is going to tie Hack's wrist to his corner. And I don't care who you get, Sawyer, you can get anybody you want to tie my wrist to my corner. And the first one to get free can attack his opponent and do whatever he pleases. There's no disqualification. Anything goes. And the only way you can win is by knocking your opponent out or the referee counting him out. And believe me, I'm sending you up, baby, because you're done. You're going to be tied in that corner, and I'm going to be on top of you beating your brains out, sir, because I've had enough of you. You deprived me of my belt because of bias refereeing and bias commentating, and I've had enough to hear. You're done. Come Seattle next time, you're done. If you people want to see him, you better come out. But I, I personally would assume you peasants stayed at home. Haven't you just got through witnessing what I can do to a man in the ring? I'm going to be in this man's corner. I'm going to be out tying the knots around Hack Sawyer. And believe me, brother, right from Boy Scouts all the way up to the Marines, all the knots that can be tied, brother, I can tie them. And there ain't no way you're going to get away, Sawyer. And another thing, a man that's sticking his nose where he don't belong, Billy Jack. You challenge me, you want some of me, eh? Well, you've just seen what I can do, boy. You want me, you got the match, brother. And be sure you know what you got a hold of when you get a hold of me. Well, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. You just heard from the, the clan. And the big match, the main event, Iranian death match. The Sheik has just explained the rules. Boy, can you imagine that, Don, tying oh. a guy to the ring corner with a rope, and then you tie the other guy to the ring corner with a rope, and the guy that gets free first gets to work on his opponent if he gets free, and they can do anything at all. Well, we saw something like that last week in Portland, and it turned out to be uh, pretty bloody. And uh, so those things can really be very dangerous. And we'll just have to see what happens. And I want to make sure that you get your tickets for that match coming up in Seattle. And the phone number again to call is 624-4970. We're ready for the second fall now. Rip Oliver, and Steve, and uh, Chris Adams. And Oliver going to work right, right away. Oh, reversal by Adams, right into the turnbuckle. Oh, Adams felt that one. And Adams sent Oliver airborne there, a headbutt to the midsection. Excuse me, Tom. <laughs> Chris Adams took a lot of abuse that last fall. And I was wondering when that spark of temper of his was going to flare up, and we just witnessed it now. He said, Mr. Oliver, you dished it out to me, governor. I'm going to dish it back at you. Remember, Oliver uh, has said how he doesn't appreciate the way Adams pronounces his name. Oliver. Here we go. Look oh, out. Oh. Ripped it his back on the side of that ring. Chris is coming out after him. Oh, there's a right, oh, right hand. Two right of hand. them. Three Look in at, a row. He's snapping Oliver's head halfway he off. Sure he is. Watch the count. Right. Oh, right on the ring apron. Well, that's enough to close your shop. Oh, well, Chris got enough presence of mind to get back in the ring and break that count. Got to start all over again on his opponent. Chris dragging Oliver back. Headbutt! Oh. Look at that. Second fall, main event. Chris Adams, Rip Oliver. And that's Rip going into the turnbuckle. Oh, look oh. at this. I've never seen a man use his feet like uh, Chris Adams does. I don't think anybody uses their feet the way he does. This, this man most, is most people use their hands. He uses his feet to choke him. 
That's right. Second fall, TV main event. Chris Adams, he Whoa. kicks Oliver's feet out from under him. Down goes the ripper. In case you missed the first fall, Rip Oliver won it. There's a reverse. Look at this. Whoa. That's a reverse bear hug. What's he going to do with that? An upside down. <laughs> oh, oh, I see what he was trying. Oliver had enough presence of mind to tuck that head in. Chris up on the second rope. Look out. Oh! oh. Talk about presence of mind. I thought Oliver was out of it. It looked like he was. He should have been. But he rolled over. Adams missed him. Landed flat on his face. <laughs> oh. Oh. Boy, they both collided on that one, Dutch. And a double collision. Boy, they both. Chris was trying to get some momentum to come off of that rope after he shot Oliver in. Oh, he didn't get to it quickly enough. Oliver was already there by the time Chris turned around and bang, they collided. I heard the head conk. Boy, they really collided. A head-on collision. Oliver a head, but I don't know how he can stand to give a head. I don't either. There. He just gave one and he's holding his head. He must have hurt his own head. Both of them trying to... Oh. <laughs> Adams with a, an uppercut. Oh, knee. Oh. oh, that looked like there may have been a thumb in on that one. Boy, don't forget this eighth card coming up, folks. Iranian deathmatch. Can you imagine having Rip Oliver taking a six-foot hunk of rope and walking into the corner with you and tying your wrist to that top turnbuckle and rope to where oh. you can't get away and every... He knows all the Navy and scout knots because he was, I think he was in the Navy. He knows all the knots and tying you up by one hand, somebody else tying a sheet to the other side of the ring and whoever gets loose first can work his opponent over whether he is tied or untied to that corner. The referee can do nothing except stand there and watch the beating. And a beating it would be if, if, one, uh, if one of them gets loose before the other one does. The Sheik asked for this match. He's, uh, it's his specialty. He's been involved in them before, and from what I hear, I saw one that uh, Stephen Little Bear was involved in years ago, and that's why Stephen Little Bear had to leave the Northwest. He got pummeled so badly. They carried him. They carted him out on a stretcher. He never has been the same since then. And this Sheik is a, he's a, oh, unscrupulous. Well, there's a lot of adjectives for him, but. Uh, I don't know how he can't hack into signing, but Hack signed the match. And, folks, I've seen cage matches. I've seen all kinds of specialty matches. But this one is something to behold. If you get loose, if you get your knots untied first, you can go over and crack your opponent and beat him and just bloody him up, and the referee has to stand there and watch. Well, the name is very appropriate. Iranian death match. Well, it's Oliver now flying the hold on uh, Chris Adams. Adams trying to power out of it. And an uh, elbow to the midsection. Well, Another elbow. According to the Sheik in the old country in olden days, they'd give each man a knife. And they'd tie him with five or six songs of rawhide. And the Sheiks in those days used to take the two people that had the squabble one end of the camp, they tie one guy to a tree, another end of the camp, they tie the other guy to a tree, and they give them both a knife. The guy that got free first could kill his opponent with the knife. But we're not quite that barbaric here, and if Sheik wants to do something to assimilate that, we'll accommodate him if he can get any opponents to take it. And Hacksaw Sawyer took it. All it is is fists and feet in this one. Well, let's hope so, because, uh, you know, the Sheik has been known to throw a little fire now and then, and I'm not talking imagination. I know you're not, but you know we're all hallucinating. I saw him do the thing with the salt. I've seen him throw the fire before. And he tells me I'm hallucinating. Maybe I ought to go see a shrink. <laughs> Chris Adams working out. Oh! There's a kick to the jaw! Did you see Oliver's head <laughs> recoil on it? I almost fell on my microphone. I heard it. You'll have to excuse me, ladies. I almost followed my microphone. Chris Adams snapped Oliver's head, almost took it off his body. Just look out for another one. There it is. Again. Oliver got his hands up in time. He didn't get the full power of that blow. But he, got, two count. he got enough of it, though. Eight of it. 
Chris Adams. All even. Chris Adams with his own special kind of drop kick. And uh, he wins the second fall. I'm going to be talking to Billy Jack, so don't go away, folks. So we'll be right back after this. Hi, I'm Bobby at First Money. Buying a home? Need to refinance or second mortgage your home or investment properties? Need to borrow money for your business? Huge hit with the fans here in the Northwest, Billy Jack. Thank you very much, Dutch. Uh, I want to thank all the fans for all their support in the uh, Pacific Northwest. And uh, I've been here all my life, and I just appreciate it. And uh, I'm ready for the big time now. I'm ready to take on anybody at any time and uh, rip all over the clan. Uh, anybody here in the Northwest who wants to get in there with me, I'm ready. I've been in Minnesota working with Billy Robinson. He's helped me out a great deal. And uh, I'm not trying to be cocky, baby, but I want anybody at any time. And I'm ready for the Pacific Northwest title, anything right now. Dutch. I imagine you'd be looking, if you do get the Pacific Coast Heavyweight Championship, you'll be looking for a shot at the World Heavyweight Champion. Uh, whatever happens, I'm ready for anything. Uh, I want to go a long way in wrestling. And uh... Okay, Bill, excuse me. You better watch it. I don't want any trouble up here with you two. Excuse me, Bill. Hang on. You just stand back for a minute. Go ahead, Bill. Go ahead, Billy. I'll talk to this gentleman here. No trouble. I don't want any trouble out of you two. What, what can I do for you? I want to show these people a little something. They're accusing me of throwing fire and throwing things. All you see is an illusion. And to prove my illusion, I've got two right here. You can examine little, little sponge balls, no big thing. I'll set one of them right there. And I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Hack Sawyer, you think you got me, right? You think you're going to get free or something and you're going to come? And I'm going to lay you right here. I'm going to put you right in my hand. Then I'm going to... I'm going to take you. I'll tell you what I'm going to do to him. I'll tell you something even better than what I was going to show you. I'm going to show you something that's going to happen to Sawyer. I'm going to show you. Me. I'll tell you what. You just told that. Hold that one for a moment. Sawyer, I'm going to get on you sometime, anywhere, anytime, anywhere. I don't care. I'm going to make a little cup of my hand, and I'm going to take you, and I'm going to shove you down in that mat. I'm going to shove you right down in that mat. Yeah, I'm going to shove you right down in that mat right there, brother. And then look. Hi! Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Illusions. Illusions. I'm a master of illusions. Anybody that thinks that they've seen me throw fire is idiotic and has the mentality of a two-year-old. Whew. We're gonna. I. What can I tell you? You see this guy doing these things now. If Hacksaw sees him tied up, is he tied up or is he not tied up? I don't know. I think the guy's a, a fugitive from a funny farm. <laughs> Beyond me. <laughs> I'm glad you said that. How do you tie up an illusion? The man is uh, is definitely something else. I know one thing. When they tie this guy up, I'd like to be present to watch that. I don't want to inspect any hanky-panky because I'm going to inspect the ropes. I want to have the commissioner inspect the ropes, too. Well, how are you going to know if he's really tied up? The man, uh, the man is so... Uh, Look at Adams. Adams come out. He's full of vinegar. He's already... Oh! Boy, did you see that ring move there? Oh, look oh. at that! <laughs> oh! Right <laughs> on the jaw. Look at the red mark on the side of Oliver's face. Oh, yeah. That's Oliver's a, saying, let me go, Adams, you're killing me. That's a foot mark on his face. Some of the things uh, these guys say in the ring, ladies and gentlemen, to one another, I can't repeat. On television, he uh, backdrop. Chris landed on his feet, though. He's back in the ring. And Oliver, Oliver doesn't know he that. He doesn't know it. Outside, over oh. the top rope. Oh, yeah. back part on Oliver that time, Don. Yes, turn around is fair play. I'm still oh, baffled at this sheik. I've seen him do things with salt. I've seen him do things with smoke, with fire. Now, I saw the rubber ball. Did you see the rubber ball? Yeah, I saw it. Well, and then I didn't see it, so I don't that's know what, what I saw. That's what I thought. We're going to be extremely careful of tying this guy up in this Iranian death match. Extremely careful. Oh, there's a clothesline. Clothesline by Adams on Rip Oliver. Boy, this Oliver can take abuse. He sure can. This is the third and final fall. Between Rip Oliver and Chris Adams. Adams trying for a body slam. 
And there it is. Oh, knee across the chest. Count is one, two, and Oliver kicks out. There's a, another right hand to the jaw. Well, that was legal. He caught him on the chest area with that. There's a oh. suplex. Standing suplex. Uh oh. Oh, a headbutt. Right across the chest area. Chris is going up. Oh, he's, he is going to go up to the top rope. Oh, look. Oh, oh. No. Uh oh. Oh, he slipped oh. on the rope. Boy, he hurt oh, he hurt Oh, the inside of that leg, that rope, ladies and gentlemen, is not a rope. That's per se rope. That steel cable under that garden hose. And it'll flat oh. do a number on you. It'll tear you right in half if you're not careful. Chris hit on the inside of his left leg, it looks like. Oliver oh, trying for an atomic drop. Oh, no, he's done it. Oh, my oh, goodness. Rough. Oh, that's at his squad. Oh, he, he atomic dropped him right across the... Oh, oh, totally uncalled for him. Rotten, stinking rot. Oh, I can't stand it. You take it, Don. Yeah, that's that's absolutely unnecessary. Oliver has been disqualified. Adams declared the winner. That makes Chris Adams the winner of our main event this afternoon, and he is in pain. Boy, he paid for that win. Now you know why we call him Ripper to Crippler. Yes, that's Boy. too bad. I swear, I've seen some. I don't know. He, he could have beat the guy if he'd have come down with the atomic drop like he was going to. He had a chance of pinning the guy legitimately. Instead, he tried to crucify him on that top rope. He tried to cut him in half is what he did. Oh, that's, uh, that's absolutely uncalled for. We'll be right back after this timeout. We're going to be seeing Hacksaw on Sunday the 5th in Shelton, Washington, Monday the 6th, Longview, Sunday the 12th in Tacoma. This is December I'm talking about in December. And uh, you'll be seeing him in Pendleton, Oregon, at the Armory on the 19th of December, and 27th in Grants Pass, Oregon, and uh, Monday the 20th in Yakima, Washington. But the match that's paramount in Hacksaw's mind right now is the match that's coming up here Wednesday, December the 8th. Right, Hacksaw? You know, Dutch, uh, I don't know how to put it. You know, I've I got to admit, Sheik has pulled one out of, you know, out of the woodworks. I'm a little worried. I'm a little wary. I've heard of rumors all over the world. He's never lost one of these matches, Dutch. And, you know... That means a lot to me when I step in a ring and don't know what I'm doing. And that's what exactly what I'm doing. But I'll tell you who I'm doing it for. I'm doing it for the people in Tacoma, Seattle. I'm doing it for my fans, the people that helped me win the belt, just for them. They seen him burn me last time. Thank God the referee, you know, put two and two together. And it was all over. I'm a little worried about something I don't know about. But, Sheik, let me tell you something. I got everybody in Tacoma, Seattle, and on and on backing me up 110%. And, Dutch, I'm going to get in that ring, and I'm going to give 120%, and that's the best I can do. I understand the Sheik is going to have for his second Rip Oliver. Rip Oliver is going to be tying you up. Now, I understand you've got a little secret, and you want the people to tune in next week. You'll let them know on that date, not this week, but the following week, you'll let them know just before you go into the Seattle Arena on the 8th who your second is going to be and who is going to tie the Sheik up for you. Well, that's, you know, I was a little worried about the match, so I had to think about it. It took me a couple of days, so I figured, well, if I got to worry a little bit, why doesn't the Sheik have to worry a little bit? So I'll tell everybody in Tacoma and Seattle and Centralia and all those other places, the beautiful, they treat me like a king, I'll tell you next week. How about that? Who's my partner's going to be tying those knots? And uh, it's going to be a big surprise. Well, I'm glad you feel that way. I'm glad you're not too confident about this match because the Sheik is a force to be reckoned with. And uh, an Iranian death match. You'll be tied to one corner. He'll be tied to the other. The guy that breaks free first, you can do anything you want to to your opponent. I just hope I'm the first one to break free, Dutch, because that means a lot in that match. And uh, the first one to break free, like you said, you know, I've heard all night long, it's got the advantage. And uh, my secret is my partner next week, and I'll tell you and I'll tell the fans. Okay, Hacksaw, thank you, thank you very much for being a gentleman. Thanks for coming out and talking to us. Don, also on that card, if that's not enough of an Iranian death match, Hacksaw Sawyer against Sheikh Abdullah Hussein, Rip Oliver is going to be taking on Billy Jack, folks. And you know who Billy Jack is. He's a sensational newcomer to the Northwest. Chris Adams is going to be taking on another member of the clan, The Assassin. You're going to see Chief Tia, or Chief Tapu, and the great Tia in action in a tag team match against two opponents who will be named at the arena. 
We got big things coming up this month, but the primary one is this Iranian death match. I've heard of what Abdullah can do with it. I've not seen what he can do, but all I've heard is reports, and I don't like anyone I'm, I'm getting, Donald. Well, we want to make sure that everybody gets down there. That's next Wednesday. That's Wednesday, this December 8th, for that big uh, Iranian death match. And get your tickets. You can call 624-4970 for that. This is Don Koss, along with Dutch Savage, and it's really been a uh, heck of a car tonight, Dutch. I got to do, th do this or I'll get sued. Good night, Kate. <laughs> In Bellingham, right? And good night, everybody. This has been Big Time.